In this lesson, you will learn how to use Active Storage to upload user avatar. Now, Active Storage is actually a built-in gem included on Rails that handles the file uploads to storage services like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Now, as we're in the development mode, so we can use our local disk, which is fine. Now, first, we need to set up Active Storage in our project. So let's go back to our project. First, I'm gonna stop the server, pressing Ctrl C, clear it up, and we're gonna say Rails Active underscore storage colon install and hit enter. Now as you can see it just uh, creates something. Alright, I'm going to back to that in a bit, but next I want you to go to Rails DB migrate, hit enter. Okay, interestingly, you will notice that it's also create two new tables in a database. Um, one's called Active Storage Blobs and the one called Active Storage Attachment. The one that it just go, if you go into DB Migrate, and here's your file just create. All right, so basically it just create um, two table, just like what I show you here. All right, and if you want you can go to Postico and check. So go into freelancer development. And yep, so here's the two file. The first one is active storage attachment. Double click on it. You don't see anything here. And for the plot, you don't see anything here either. Now that's fine. We can go back to them when we upload the photo in a bit. So for now, as one user can have only one avatar. So let's configure that one. So open F motor user RB. Now first, uh, let's go back up here. Uh, we can put it here, that's fine. And I'm gonna say has want attach and that's one say avatar, all right? So basically uh, here is a new variable you can call it. Uh, you never defined it, this property before uh, for the user motor, that's fine. Uh, we just do it now. So we can call it to image, that's fine, all right? It's just a new variable we just create now. And then um, we need to tell Rails that we give the client permission to update the avatar by opening the controller, user controller, remember strong parameters. Now we say avatar. Next, to make sure um, our life a bit easier, we create a helper function to display user avatar based on different scenario. Let's see what I mean by that. So I just close on this and F helper and application helper. So under here, I'm gonna define a method and it's gonna mean avatar URL and we're gonna pass the user object into here. The first scenario is that if that user uh, dot avatar dot attach, so that's mean we're gonna check if um, that user um, does have the avatar in their profile, then we're going to display that avatar by saying URL for user dot avatar, all right? To link to the URL to where you store the avatar in the storage. Uh, now, if that is not the okay, case, we're going to check the second scenario if user.image, that's mean if user does have image from Facebook, then we're going to return that avatar from Facebook. Now, the last scenario, so if those about are not the case, then we're going to uh, display the default avatar by saying action controller, base dot helper dot asset path and we're going to pass the icon default avatar dot png all right so once you got the helper methods um like this inside the application helper it's going to be available across the whole application so you can call it um, anywhere you want all right, uh, now let's open our dashboard, remember, because we want to display the avatar in the dashboard, 
and also we're going to uh, implement the form that allow user to upload the avatar. So I just call up this one. So under F, view, user, and open the dashboard. Now let's go to the avatar session. Oh, I just uh, okay avatar. So this one we no longer display the default image. We just say uh, avatar URLs, and we're going to pass it current user. All right, and don't forget you got a class which is is routed. So we made the avatar routed, all right? And also let's go to the upload button session under here, under the P tag. Maybe I just uh, put this one on top. So easy to read. All right, so under here, I'll just uh, create a new form. Form for, all right? Just remove this one. And we're gonna start with the user and URL, it would be uh, users edit URL, right? And we're going to pass a user object. The action would be update and the method is post. And inside here, I just uh, create a div with a class five. And inside that, just create a new label. Uh, with your class uh, button dot is primary dot is allied dot is full width hit enter all right so we no longer need this button so I'll just remove it all right so we don't need the for here so inside this label, uh, first I'm going to display the f dot find five field, All right? And we're going to pass the avatar attribute class would be uh, five input, All right? And we're going to create the on change event. And we're going to say this dot form dot submit. And under that, I'll just uh, create new uh, icon with the class uh, first dot for upload. All right. So here I'll just say uh, upload avatar. Maybe you give a space for this. All right. All right, hit save. Now let's go back to our project and hit refresh and see. Oh, I need to start a server. So go here, start a server. Cool. So now we have the um, button with the icon and upload avatar. Uh, I'll just quickly go in here and create new space by saying MBSB. This one for creating uh, space. All right, hit save. Let's go back here. All right, much better. Now, before you try to upload your avatar, I want you to go back to my GitHub. And if you click on the folder uh, T52, right here, I'll just uh, prepare a sample avatar that you can uh, check, right? For example, this one, um, if you want, you can hit the download button. And here you can right click and hit save the images, all right? Okay, cool. Now I've just uh, done one, so I'll just go ahead and click the upload avatar, which is going to open the um, file for me, the file folder, and I'm going to select this one. Hit open. Hey, look at this. So it worked. Now, one more thing, I just want you to open the database. Okay, remember that we got two uh, table. So let's just click on this one. Hit refresh. Hey, so first thing is gonna say the name, avatar, and the record type user, and record ID is one, all right? If you go to the 
active story blobs. You're gonna say something blah blah blah. The file name is avatar1.jpg, content type, and so on. Okay, I'm going to back to this in a bit, but before that, um, it would be awesome if you can display this avatar up here next to the full name. So let's quickly do that. So I'm going to open share navbar. Okay, so let's go into where you display the full name, which should be on the top navbar. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new link. So a dot uh, bar link. So inside here, we just um, add the figure. Well, actually, I can go back to the dashboard and I'm going to copy this one. Just copy it and paste it here. All right. And also, I'm going to put the full name, just cut and paste it. All right, we no longer need this one. Remove it. All right, so for this one, actually, we just need the 24 by 24. All right, and I'm going to say margin right. So we set to 5. Okay. Now let's go back here and hit refresh. Hey, voila! Really nice. Oh, I just noticed that the uh, the second bar by somehow it just uh, okay on top of the profile. We need to fix that. All right, so let's go back here and yep for the next the second bar we need to say size equal. Uh, say jet index we set to five all right hit save let's go back here refresh yeah much better now as i promised early on let's open the database so that we can explain what's happening to these two table now the first one active story blobs um, a blob is a record that contains a metadata about a file and a key for where that file resides on a service it could be on Amazon, Google Cloud, etc. So in this case, it's a local dish. Now, if you go back to the uh, Active Storage Attachment, um, Attachment associate records with blobs. So you can easily see how it store the association. And first, it's going to store the name of the property uh, of the user and the record ID, which is one, which is uh, linked to the user ID one. And the blob is linked to blob ID one, which is uh, the plot that you see here all right now i hope that makes sense to you now if you want to learn more you can go into google and search for rails active storage and you can end up with this one um, here you can read the doc it's really easy to use cool so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one